Freedom and beauty to everyone. I am the Techno Mage. Welcome back to Manganime News. So, for starters, Hunter x Hunter author reveals alternative ending prepared in case he dies. Wait, what? Yoshihiro Togashi, the acclaimed author of Hunter x Hunter, has recently revealed what could be the series ending if he is unable to complete it. In a recent interview, Togashi Sensei discussed the three potential endings for Hunter x Hunter, labeled as scenarios A, B, and C. So this news comes from AnimeSenpai.net, and there's also a fourth scenario, scenario D, which he initially considered for the series conclusion, but later excluded from his final choices. Togashi's words on this were, To give you a clearer picture, I will share scenario D which fell out of the candidate scenarios for the ending. If fate takes me before finishing the manga, consider it the manga's ending. I would be happy if you forgive me for that. So, scenarios A, B, and C, they don't give a lot of information about it, just that just, Togashi just said some will like it, some will not. Now, the these are the three main candidates for the ending of the story. Now, scenario D, there is a very detailed recount of what Togashi said it will entail, but I will not go into much detail to keep this video short. So the thing is, the disclosed ending, scenario D, shifts focus from the main characters to Jin, who is presumed to be a descendant of Gon, Possibly his grandchild, though this is not explicitly stated. Jin's story starts similarly to Gon's, with her with her fishing next to a lake and capturing a, the lake lord. However, unlike Gon, she shows no interest in becoming a hunter. So Jin's mother wants Jin to be a hunter, but Jin doesn't want to leave the island, and Jin's mother's Mother food blames that it's because of the bloodline of Grandma Mito and Grandma Noko flowing her that she doesn't want to become a hunter. This seemingly confirms that Gon will marry Noko in the future. In case you are not aware, Noko was the only child from Whale Island, which was of Gon age, Gon's age. They played together and Gon also mentioned her to Kilwa when they first met. And it continues the narration in more detail. It's crucial to note that the aforementioned ending, scenario D, is no longer a viable option as Togashi has set it aside in favor of other possibilities. However, should circumstances prevent Togashi from completing the manga, this outline, outline ending serves as, a con serves as a contingency plan, marking how the Hunter x Hunter saga could potentially conclude. And to give some background information, the creator of Hunter x Hunter, Yoshihiro Togashi, has been enduring severe back pains for several years, a condition that has led to multiple hiatuses in the manga's publication. So yes, as, I, as I've said many times before, and I know I will repeat many times in the future, being a manga artist in Japan is a health hazardous occupation. And Togashi is not the only one. I've talked many times of other manga artists uh, artists that have to go into hiatus due to health problems. For example, the author of War Trigger went into like two and a half years of hiatus due to cervical problems. And I think also due to weight problems. Now, here's the reason why I delayed the public the creation of this video from Wednesday, which is when I normally make these videos, to today, because I wanted to include in this video the Suicide Squad Isekai teaser promo. So, a few months ago, it was announced that the Suicide Squad will will have will star in an anime series 
of them going into a isekai world. And I said many times before, I hate modern isekai stories because it's always some overpowered character which has no competition or struggle because they have some overpowered skill that makes them overpowered and they can absolutely wreck anything so we so they revealed the cast the main cast with Harley Quinn being played by Anna Nagase who has also voiced Eriko Amanai in Jujutsu Kaisen second, second season Joker will be voiced by Yuichiro Umehara who has also voiced Goblin Slayer in Goblin Slayer Reigo Yamaguchi who has no other previous works will voice Deadshot Takehito Koyasu will voice Peacemaker and he has also voiced Toji Foshiguro in Jujutsu Kaisen second season Jun Fukuyama will voice sorry he will voice Clayface and he has also voiced King in Nanatsu no Taisai and Ichimatsu Matsuno in Otsumatsu-san and lastly Subaru Kimura who will voice, voice King Shark has also voiced Aoi Todo in Jujutsu Kaisen 7 season Wow, there's a lot of Jujutsu Kaisen voice actors and I'm not going to read the synopsis because it's really simple the Suicide Squad gets sent to an Isekai war period and here is the trailer oh, I have to go to YouTube ne. so due to copyright I'm going to skip through it so there's Queen, there's Joker Wanda Waller and here they are in the world of magic and fantasy and Friday doing everything in sight Harley Quinn is going to be the main selling point of this series and mm, it looks good enough let's hope this series is actually entertaining at least now another series that will get an anime adaptation next year is Dan Dan, Dan from uh, the Shonen Jump the Tatsuben and Drawing the Action Supernatural Manga in Shonen Jump Plus the app in April 2021 and yes I've noticed that the series, this series is really popular in the Shonen Jump Plus app I haven't read it but apparently it's quite entertaining and if the anime adaptation is good I will continue watching the anime and maybe I will get up to date with the manga so synopsis after being aggressively rejected Momo Ayase find herself, finds herself sulking when she stumbles across a boy named Being Bullied. Saved by her rash kindness, the occult obsessed boy attempts to speak to her about supernatural, about supernatural interests he believes they share. Rejecting his claims, Ayase proclaims that she, is instead, she instead is a believer in ghosts, starting an argument between the two over which is real. In a bet to determine who is correct, the two decide to separately visit locations associated with both the occult and the supernatural. I just say visiting the former and the boy visiting the latter. The later. When the two reach their res respective places, it turns out that neither was wrong and that both the occult and ghosts do exist. This marks the beginning of Ayase and the boy's adventure as they attempt to fix the surreal, supernatural and occult occult elements around them to return to a normal life and we have a teaser as well so again to avoid copyright we want to skip straight as well there's a boy ghost there's the girl and there's aliens ghosts supernatural occult all of it a short teaser but then again it is a teaser continuing now with some bad news 
just to guys in season two faces uncertainty amidst animators outburst again from anime senpai a few weeks ago animators from the Jujutsu Kaisen season 2 production team publicly voiced their grievances on social media regarding the grueling schedule at the studio this issue has escalated significantly raising concerns that we might witness the end of Jujutsu Kaisen anime if animators con continue to resist returning to work under the current strenuous conditions so it is produced by Studio Mappa. Uh, subsequently, the set was debuted. The animation team began to openly challenge the demanding schedule require, required for producing Jujutsu Kaisen, often finishing episodes mere hours before they were scheduled to air. And there have been a lot of support in. Social media, a user said, throw your card key in the company trash can when you leave work. Uh, I find the issue, Arai Kasuto, director of J JK Season 2, public publicly shares his fr frustration with work conditions in at MAPA. Shunsuke ok Okubo Shunsuke, another director for Season 2, posted a distressing image from the anime Chirobako. Respecting an animator in a life threatening situation. So bad news has arrived and I'm suddenly overwhelmed. The most boring ending I can think of. Oh, the festival is over. Yes, disbanded, disbanded. I was really disappointed. This isn't fun anymore. I wonder. And the wow! I'm not going to show I'm not going to show that. And it continues and it continues. Uh, here's some background information from Studio Mappa on the impact on Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. The future of Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 hangs in the balance amidst recent developments. It's well known that anime production often operates in stringent, stringent schedules, a norm in the industry. Animators frequently work up to the final week before an episode's release, a practice that can sometimes compromise episode quality. In extreme cases, studios have even postponed episodes indefinitely, waiting until they meet a satisfactory standard of quality. But Jujutsu Kaisen hasn't dropped its quality, suggesting that any potential delays are unlikely at this juncture. This assumes, of course, that the animators will sustain their current workload for the remaining month and half until the season's finale. A recent tweet from an animator on the Season 2 team hinted at possible disruptions within the production team. The production desk w just abandoned their duties. Duties. It's over. Mo Owaridana. Wow, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Because it, it's, it is widely known that the anime in anime production industry especially is really really hard especially for animators who still do everything by hand so so crunching time is the norm in the animation industry in japan so not only being a mangaka is a health hazardous occupation also being an anime animator but to go so far, to be so such a dire situation as to the animation team just walking out from the production and stopping the release of an anime series that is already on emission. Oh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. I hope that MAPA aborts this situation and diffused the situation before it gets out of hand. Now, back again with some good news. Black Clover Manga set to return in December 2023. One of the most famous and best-selling shonen manga, Black Clover has finally received a release date for the new update, Chapter 
369. Yes, when I make a analyze the table of contents for, for the weekly shonen jump, I've noticed that for the last few months, Black Clover has been absent. Black Clover ended its weekly run on August 1st, 2023. The series has migrated, migrated from Weekly Shonen Jump magazine to the seasonal magazine known as Jump Giga. Now, what is Jump Giga? Jump Giga, or Shonen Jump Giga, formerly Shonen Jump Next, is a quarterly sister magazine to Weekly Shonen Jump. It publishes spin-offs and special, care, special chapters, one-shots, and the like. It launched in July 2016 with issues from for the months of July to October, then from April to July, and the magazine later changed back to four issues in 2020, this time on a quarterly schedule. However, 2023 has had a closer release schedule. So they release around four issues each, each year since its conception. If you are familiar with it, the migration was implemented due to the, you guessed it, declining health of Tabata Sensei and his incompetence against the drastic schedule. According to him, the seasonal publication will give him much more time to rest and look after his family. A credible source on Twitter, known as, hey, our people in Weekly Shonen Jump unofficial, recently revealed that Black Clover has been greenlit for the upcoming issue of Jump Giga. Here is everything we know. So Black Clover decided manga ended its weekly serialization in August 21st of this year. According to the source, Black Clover chapter 369 is scheduled for late December 2023. The series will receive multiple color pages and will be on the magazine's cover. But, despite the hiatus of three months, many hardcore fans are disappointed the upcoming chapter will, will only be 28 pages long, including unique posters and stickers. And chapter 369 will continue the final saga of Black Clover, so at least the manga is ending. So, Black Clover fans will have to just muster all the patience they can, the end is near. So at least the author will have the opportunity to, to finish the story as he intends. Now there's a summary of Black Clover chapter 368, but I'm not going to read spoilers. And to finish this video, Code Geass, Sea of the Recapture, anime sequel, will share new information on December 18, 2023. And I have to say, why? Why are they, they making a, a anime sequel for Code Geass? The story is over. It ended. The finale of season 2 of Code Geass is one of the best endings I've ever seen and then they made a film which actually had a really good ending as well so what is the purpose of this new series this besides being a cash grab on the title anyway we will have to wait uh, two weeks around two weeks time to know so this is the Technomage signing off. Thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.